hello guys it's Ali and welcome to today's video so today guys I'm just coming on with a little crafty haul Um, I got some money for Christmas and I hadn't spent anything so I bought some crafty bits I thought I'd come on and show you what I got Um, I start off with these I bought these distress I'm trying to collect the spray stains uh, from Budley Crafts I think they were $5.99 each I've got a vintage photo prize ribbon crackling campfire and wild honey i've got the oxides but i wanted to start collecting the spray stains as well so i bought those uh, next i bought some bits off amazon i bought them where's my other bits i bought off amazon bear with me guys wait a minute i've got all stuff piled up at the side of me here uh, yeah those I'll just get the Amazon bits out and then I can show you what I got. So I'll start off with these stamp sets. Um, I bought these, these I buy off Amazon. They were £11 for 100 and I store my stamps. I take them out the original packets. So the first one I got was a sample one and it's called Journal Notes. I got that off Amazon. Yeah, I take them out of the plastic. The next one I got was a Creative Expressions one by Lisa Horton. And this is Doodled Borders. I thought they would be really nice to stamp on to journal cards and bits and pieces. And then I got this one, which is called Positive Rounds. I just thought that was different. I was just having a little look on Amazon. They're quite big stamps. And I did get another stamp set. Where's the other one gone? Um, here it is I thought I'd got another one again it's a creative expressions I love sample stamps they're absolutely fabulous and this is called snippets of nature I thought that was really nice so I got them off uh, Amazon Um, over there i bought these off amazon as well i did a bit of research i wanted some paint brushes obviously i didn't want artist grade because i'm not an artist um but i wanted some nice ones i've got some watercolor brushes and some for acrylic these feel really nice i've not used them yet but there's a variety of different kinds two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen eighteen twenty three 23 brushes i think they were 16.99 if i remember rightly something like that either 15 or 16.99 so they were from amazon as well uh, next i got some bits from that's crafty got a couple of dyes i've had my eyes on for a while i got this studio light uh, art by Marlene and this one is called does it tell me oh it's just got a number stencil LBM07 cutting die that's all it says and then again another art by Marlene I love this one I love this quirky leaf as well these will be nice uh, grunged up that's them on the back there really nice. yeah that's what they look like on the back uh, and this one is A B M S I C D five zero five. If there's anything in particular you want, just give me leave me a message and I'll I'll get back to you. And then I've got these two. These again are really nice quirky flowers. Thought these would be nice. I've not die cut any yet, but I'm going to do some die cutting in the week. And then I can distress them all with my inks and my paints. A B M B B C D one three three. I think that means art by Marlene, bold and bright something. Cutting die one three three. I think that's what it means. And this is from the. This is called Fauna and Flora from the Bold and Bright collection. And then this one is from the Bold and Bright collection. This is called Graphic Background. And it's just that really quirky. Just, yeah, just a background die. I thought little bits of this on tags and journal cards, you know, just layering up. I thought that would be nice. I do like her stuff. So they got that. And then lastly, I got this one. It wasn't 17 .99. I don't know whether... 
can't remember how much this one was but it's just them i love leaves i've got tons of leaf dyes i'm always buying leaf dyes and then next what else did i get oh we just nipped to the range we needed something from the iceland in the range so i had a little look in the crafty bits they had nothing to be honest these were in the sale bucket uh, 50 pence just some adhesive pearls just got two packets of them and then i spotted these i have got metallic watercolors i've got some ganzai tambi i think they're called and i spotted these for a pound and i was just curious as to what they were like and then i ordered some bits off craft stash I got this William Morris ephemera pack, uh, EM0B0183. Doesn't tell me how many pieces I get in. Let's have a look. Not opened it. Put it on this paper. Yeah, I just thought it would be nice. Oh, they're nice, aren't they? You know what I'm like for a die cut. I can't resist a die cut when I see one. I've always got to buy it. Oh, you get quite a few in there, don't you? Looks like you get two of each, maybe. Oh, they all know. I think they're all different, actually. Quite a couple of birds in there. And then we've got some big ones. Yeah, they're nice. I like them. Like I said, I can't resist buying a die cut when I see one. <laughs> I've always been the same for die cuts. Let's just see if we can get them back in here. If not, I'll just put them to one side. Yeah, so I collect die cuts, as you know. And my aim this year is to use my die cuts as well, instead of them looking pretty sat on my shelves doing nothing. They're going to get used on ephemera this year. Definitely. So they're nice, aren't they? I like them. I think I've got one that's, yeah, a little tiny one. So they're William Morris die cuts. So we've got them, that there. And then I've got some stamp sets. Um, I've took them out of the original packaging because, like I said, I store mine in these little plastic wallets. This one is called Border remarkable mandalas and it's that one it's just borders just nice border stamps i thought they would be nice on ephemera i like the texture range from lou collins i like her work i think her design i think she's got she's a bit quirky i like the things that she does so that's that one and then i got this one which is another textures and this is called wildflowers and again I, I threw the packaging away because i just keep them in these little wallets and it's that one it's really nice isn't it capture the moment nature's canvas every achievement begins with a single step create something beautiful every day celebrate being you i love that number one at the top there so i got that one not that I needed more stamps but I can't resist when I see stamp sets I do love stamps stamps and die cuts are probably my two things that I like to buy the most and then the last one I got from craft stash was this one here this is nice as well and this is called mariposa and it's just the big butterflies and we've got like a crackle stamp dedication Chapter 1, Once Upon a Time, 1874. thought that was nice, so I got that one. Right, put them in there. So that was Craft Stash. And then the last bits that I picked up were from the works online. I had a little look and I found a few things in the sale. This is just a 6 by 6 uh, paper pad you get 30 sheets and it's called nature is calling and it's just my kind of colors greens and browns and that so just thought they'd be nice for collage or backing tags or anything with really the light enough to write on as well so you could use them and then write over them 
Yeah, so that's that little six by six paper pad. Okay, so I picked up these. I got two packets. Um, they were one, reduced to one pound fifty. They're just little note cards. These are just to say, and these are thank you. I always pop one in if I sell a journal or if I send some happy mail or something. I like having those, and there's four different kinds, five of each. So they're nice. I was pleased with them. And then, you know, just because I need some more 12 by 12 papers, do I, Eck? But I couldn't resist. These were £4 each and I had a discount code for 20% off for the works. So it didn't cost me much at all. And I had some bonus points. Three, I think it only cost me about £11 for all this stuff from the works with my points and my discount. So this one is called Vintage Romance. It's 24 sheets. You get two of 24 designs. And it's 230 GSM acid free. So I'll do a quick flip through. Script. We've got some like cutter parts there that you could use for journal cards. They're nice. Like I said, my aim this year is to do quite a few no digital journals. So I'll be using scrapbook papers to make some nice journals could fussy cut these out couldn't we just yeah that's a good idea that like vintage one that's nice it's like dusty pink and like a lilac a deep lilac script one yeah like that for four pound and then it's just repeating itself there so that's called vintage romance i'll just put that to the side there and then I got this one, which is called Nature is My Home. The same again, 24 sheets. I thought this might be nice for sort of the autumn time. I mean, you could use it any time, really. I love that combination blue and it's like a, like a sky blue and brown. I like that brown and blue together. That's nice. Yeah, for four pound can't go wrong can you nice thick card as well yeah i like them i like the color palette on this one they're nice as well aren't they yeah go on the front of a journal those could and then we're back to the beginning again so that one is nature is my home and the last one is botanic yeah just botanic and it's the same 24 sheets and this was four pound as well can never have too many botanical paper pads like tropical leaves black and white nice and then you get some cutter parts in here as well that we could use for journal cards nice isn't it i like this one i like them all actually for four pound really good quality card it is nice for making ephemera and stuff with nice and thick i like that one that's nice yeah i like them all and then it repeats so that one is botanic and then the very last thing i picked up was just this for me desk because i've run out uh, it's just a little memo pad it was two pound fifty i don't know whether i paid two pound fifty or whether it was reduced but yeah i got that so there's some bits i've spent some of my christmas money on i've still got money left to be honest but i'll just hang on to it in case i see anything i'm trying to lose weight at the moment so i'm not buying clothes i've gone down a dress size i'm hoping to carry on losing some more weight before i spend any money on new clothes so yeah there's my crafty goodies uh, this i will i'll have a look at this i'll try it and i'll show you if i remember next time and uh, tell you what it's like i can't see it being fantastic for a pound but it's worth a try so there we go then guys like i said if you want a link to anything just drop me a comment and i'll try and find it for you so until next time take care bye for now